all that white meat. Look at that. The spiked chicken is so delicious. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Today I'm here on Broadway Street, the main pedestrian friendly street in the capital. Basically think about this like a, a souvenir craft street slash they have like some food trucks. There's also some amazing fried chicken right nearby and it's an incredible square. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna walk through the street, we're gonna see some of the art they have here. A lot of artisans, a lot of painters, lots of craft. We're gonna see if there's any good food. If there's not, we're gonna go straight to the chicken place, eat some fried chicken, and then after that, see the square. I'm super excited. It's something you gotta do when you visit because this is where the locals meet and have fun. Let's go. Yeah, actually, uh, we are right now at the Broadway Street, main pedestrian street of Tashkent. It's the most crowded street. And the best time, which I recommend you to come here, it's uh, between 7 p.m. until the uh, 1 a.m and there are, it's really crowded and it's really interesting. You can find a lot of paintings here. Yeah, and he was telling me that these paintings are really affordable. They're not expensive yeah. at all. And the best time again is later in the day, you know, when the sun goes down, when it's cooler, this place gets so crowded that you won't, can't even pass through, he was saying, like it's really crowded. Let me see what one of these cost. I actually like a few of these. I'm just wondering if I can take them home. What's like really Uzbekistan? What, what, what do you think? Like what's like real Uzbek, like one of these? Yeah. Yes, this phone and which is the camel. Look, here is a Madrasel Bibi Hanum, four hundred fifty thousand. Forty-five dollars for that painting. Four hundred fifty dollars. You can actually look. You can actually take it by yourself. Uh, Wrap it. Wrapping it. Yeah. He's asking for four hundred. Four hundred. Thousand. Yeah, four hundred. I'll do it. <laughs> 300, 300. <laughs> now nah, you know I want to be fair with him though. You know I don't want to like try to like lower it too much. I don't really believe in taking it all the way down to half. Because he's not reselling it. I know he painted it. How long he take for this? How long he take? Ten days. Ten days. Yeah, ten days. So he's making forty dollars on ten days of work. Yeah. All right, so we bargained for four hundred. So I'm gonna stick to four hundred, right? Four hundred thousand. So one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. 300,000, 400,000. Will you tell it in dollars or what? Yeah, 400,000, basically 9,500 is a dollar. So... $40. $40 roughly, roughly, yeah. Roughly, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Ramat. Okay. Ramat, right? Ramat? Yeah, Raman. Ramat. Man, uh, you Ramat. forget to... So I'm going to this place, I'm going there in four days. There's Samarkand, this is like the jewel, the crown jewel of Uzbekistan. I can't wait to go here. It's basically a living museum. That's all I can say. Yeah, actually. I can't wait. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know, but let me see. <laughs> okay, thank you. So besides the paintings, we're also seeing some antiques right here. They have uh, some old cameras. And over here, they have some jewelry. Love the jewelry. If they have a jewelry pink, but you know, I'll find it somewhere else. My daughter really wants a, like a pink bracelet, something traditional, but I'll find it somewhere. Yeah, we can find it here. Yeah, there's yeah. so much. Yeah, yeah there's so much. you got utensils here, like super, like nice, uh, uh, nice utensils. It should be made from silver. Silver? Yeah, it's, it should nice. be made from silver. I, I like the the pot, the little. Well, yeah, it's handmade. Look how beautiful yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one thing I've noticed here is that a lot of these antiques are from the Soviet era. As you can see right there, I guess it's like a big plaque. Obviously, Soviet on top, right? And then they have some hats, Soviet hats. I would love to try one. I don't know if she's gonna let me. So let me. So I want to try one of these on, guys. Whoa! How do they put this on? I put it on correctly. They walk around like this? No, no, no. I can't do this. Actually, it's related to the policeman. Oh, I know, I know, but I'm not a police. <laughs> I'm paparazzi. Salam. How are you? Very good. You? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Ramat, Ramat. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, thank you. Yeah, yeah, Uzbekistan the best, man. <laughs> yeah, it's actually painted on a beef skin to a really long time. I mean, it's pretty amazing. So it's like these like wooden panels and then the skin is where the canvas is. So it's the skin and they paint it and it's like really realistic. Yeah, it's really realistic. These are incredible. Because oh, I like the cat doing the selfie. <laughs> so I mean basically what you see here are tons, tons, 
tons of paintings, never ending paintings. Most of them depicting scenes from Kiva, Samarkand, and Burkana. Burkana. Bukhara. Bukhara. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's what you're seeing here. A lot of these, oh wow, they're so beautiful. They have all these different sizes, very small, medium, large, even huge ones. And again, very affordable. I spent 40 bucks on a little bigger than a medium, a little bigger. Uh, it wasn't a large, though. the large were really big. So something like if you want to get a huge painting, one of these in the back, probably $100. And these yeah. guys take weeks. For those weeks, this was 10 days, that's weeks. This is one of the most affordable countries in the world to buy crafts, goods. So we started from the main entrance of Broadway Street and then we make it to this square, right? And then it turns off, you can keep going straight or you can make a left and go all the way down. There's a lot more food vendors this way. Over here, only a few. And there's a lot of guys here doing like sketches of, you know, faces, basically portraits, right? Lots of portraits. You can see, I mean, they'll give you, a, you know, you give them a picture, they'll do it or you can sit down and they'll draw you. Really incredible and it's pretty affordable again. I mean, probably, probably the most affordable in the world. I, I did this in Paris, $100. $100. $100. We can ask for the price. This is a cheese one. 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 Excuse me? <laughs> Man, it's ten dollars. <laughs> ten dollars. Ten dollars, yeah. And it took him. How much time did it take? It took him about thirty minutes, man. Twenty thirty minutes. He'll do a picture. Last one, be a sec. Last one, yeah, it's okay, man. All right, so I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do it on my daughter. Uh, really? I'm just gonna, gonna? I'm just gonna tell him my, my picture, of my daughter. A uh, daughter. My daughter. Oh, oh it's too yeah, it's good. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. A little bit of a mission. So it's not. It was not ten U.S. dollars. It's twenty because I gave him a picture of both my daughters. I couldn't even really give them a picture. You had to take a, a picture of my phone so you could like get it and just like their faces, a nice picture I have of them. And what he's gonna do, he's gonna do it now. I paid him half of it up front. He's gonna bring it to the hotel later and drop it off. I'm just gonna leave the money with the reception and hopefully it comes out good. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping it comes out good. I'm sure it will, I'm sure it will. <laughs> All right, so now we're walking through and this, so there's like a craft vendor here, right? So there's lots of crafts. Stuff I've seen before, lots of pottery, lots of plates, and then over here we have some more clothing. Oh, bike racks, city bikes. What's that, city bikes? Yeah, there's city bikes, right? You can ride the bike and just walk around here. Uh, it's actually popular to walk around on the bike. All right, so I love throwing darts at balloons. One of my favorite things on the planet. I just love throwing darts. It costs one dollar, so 10. 1,000, that's it? 1,000. 1,000. So girls and boys. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Ah. I did four. Four out of five. Four. What do I get? <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm not even trying here. I'm really just messing around. I, I, I was closing my eyes. Ah, ah, you missed strong. it. But you you are really good at that, man. I told you. Damn. Three out of eight, five? Eight out of ten. No, seven out of ten. Ah, really? I missed two right now. Ah, two. What can I tell you? I'm not that perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's probably not good for me to do it like this. Ah. Oh. Nice, man. Perfect. Told you. So, Get uh -huh. on the camera. Yes, sir. So what do I win? What do I win? Change, change. Uh, cho choose, choose it. Pink. I mean, change. I don't know. Pink. Two. Yeah. No, one. One, one, one. one. This one. This one. Yeah. Yes. So I won for my daughter. Amazing. Amazing, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, bro. It's memory from Uzbekistan. Raman. Hey man, for three bucks? <laughs> <laughs> not, and a, and not a three game. bucks, man. It's 30 cents. 30 cents? No, it wasn't 30 cents. That was 30 cents. I oh. Suicide or death? Oh, 30 yeah. cents. Yeah. What? It's just 30 cents. Ramat. 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 Okay, so we're making it here to the end of the street and basically it's just a lot of games and little like stores that have you know water you know fast food sodas mostly like fast food now it's becky fast food more just like regular like see hot dogs burgers and that's it right yeah that's kind of thing. you come here to play games come in with your family it's a really family friendly place for yeah. sure yeah. 
And then right in front of here, we have a monument. What monument is that? It's a monument of uh, one of the greatest conquerors of the world, Uzbek conquerors, called Amir Timur. It's counted about 14th and 15th century, if I'm not mistaken. And at the memory of him, we got that monument at the right, at the center of the Tashkent. You can uh, tell that it's the center of the Tashkent. On a map, it's a uh, map, uh, it's spot like it's a red zero. dot. So that's ground zero. This is the center of the city. Yeah, complete, center the center of the city. complete center of the city. Famous Otol Uzbekistan, which was constructed in the Soviet period. Okay. At the right side, you can see is one of the beautiful uh, buildings in Uzbekistan. It's a forum. It's a place of where uh, uh, presidents comes and gives some meetings and that kind of things with the officials from another countries. All right, so now we're gonna eat the best fried chicken in all of Uzbekistan. Yeah, the best fried chicken. It's made. It's our national receipt of frying chicken. Yes, and the best place to eat this fried chicken is right near to the center. Ugalok. And, and on English it will be, in English it will be corner. Corner. Yeah, just it's called corner. Ugalok. So basically, it's located right next to Main Street, right? And right across right there is the monument. Sweet Amir Timur. We crossed over, we came back, and here it is, right here. Let's go inside and eat. So this restaurant is actually 55 years old? Yeah, 55 years old. 55 years old. They've had the same exact recipe for 55 years. The best fried chicken in all of Uzbekistan. And you can see the restaurant, it's really nice. It's like, it's, I don't even know what to tell you, it's like, <laughs> there's like bricks in the middle, right? So yeah, like big yeah, bricks, yeah. marble floors, Nice tables. I mean, they're just brown, like burgundy tables. Actually, burgundy comes with like this salt and no, sorry, this, this pepper. This yeah, salt. salt. I'm so tired, guys. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait. I love fried chicken. I've had fried chicken in Korea. Amazing. The United States, not not as amazing as Korea. I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be really good. Good. It's organic. Organic. It's it's look. It's fried. Not. On the oil, it's fried on the butter. butter. Fried in the butter. Yeah. Butter. So fried in butter, not in oil. Yeah. All right. Butter. My boy actually has to go. He has an appointment yeah. right now. Yeah. So hey, thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Bon appetit. Thank you. I'll okay. see you now. I'll okay. see you. Now. Okay. See you later. Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Peace. <laughs> and here we have it, the Uzbeki fried chicken. This thing looks amazing. Got a wing. Got a leg. Looks phenomenal. Oh my god, it's breaking apart so easily. Super organic. And right here we have like some tomato um, little drink. Reminds me of a gazpacho. Mm. They also give you bread, right? Always get bread here in Uzbekistan. Always. Cannot believe the price. Ridiculous. Mm. Oh, guys, I love the wing. Mm. Wow, super juicy. Nice flavor. Mm. A little salty too. Wow. You just have to really like dive in here. Break it up. Oh, got the leg, the drumstick right here. Oh wow. Oh the flesh. Mmm. You know what it is? It's, it's so fresh. From the table. Farm to table. Mm. That's one of the reasons why I love Korean fried chicken so much, is because it literally like came straight from the farm and they mix it with some delicious batter, make it really nice and fried. This one they use butter. Mm. I'm good for the extra calories. Mm. So many juices popping out. So I get in here. Take off all that, all that white meat. Look at that. Wow. This white chicken is so delicious. You know, super nice tender chicken inside. A little moist. Mm, just the way I like it. So much. Mm. This is actually my dinner. I had lunch, and I'm having dinner. And then I'm having dinner again. Would it be weird to mix it with the bread? So that in here. Oh yeah. 
biggest difference here is between oil and butter. This is only so many things I can say about this chicken. It's chicken, but it's freaking fire chicken. And this country is really about all the meats, like beef and lamb. So when you get chicken, it's like a little bit of a surprise. I haven't eaten chicken at all. So eating chicken here, obviously in the best place to eat chicken, a win-win. Get rid of this bone. But it was just enough to like hit the spot before dinner. The bread here. Out of this world. So now you know when you come to Broadway Street, you have to come to this restaurant and eat a 55 year recipe, the best fried chicken in Uzbekistan. It was so good. So good. Wow. Good tea. Love the tea up here. Mountain tea. So we did it, we explored Broadway Street. We had mad fun exploring Broadway Street. It really is a great place to go with families, relax, have some fun, throw some darts, you know, have an ice cream, buy some souvenirs, buy some paintings, maybe some, you know, uh, old antiques. And then from there, make your way through. I really, I really suggest going there like around eight or seven or eight but before that come over to the monument see it when there's some light you know golden hour see it get some photos then around you know once you're done with Broadway Street go over have some fried chicken the fried chicken was stellar really really delicious fried chicken I don't know if it's the best fried chicken in the world but it's really really good and yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this outing here in Broadway Street it's right next to my hotel the Hyatt Regency so it's literally like a 10 minute walk right next door and guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel adventure in Uzbekistan. Where have you been?